Welcome to Radiation Physics course. We are here with Lecture 6 Accelerators Cyclotrons. Basically, an accelerator takes a particle, speed it up using electromagnetic field and bashes the particle into target or other particle. So, the purpose is that to accelerate the particle as speed as possible that is the main purpose of any accelerators. There are two types of accelerators can be said. One is an accelerator a shaped in a one way the linear that means linear accelerator in which the particles start at one end as you can see the figure. So, it start from one end then it's come out the other. So, it's happening. So, we are confining the particle using a positive and negative voltage as applied and along with that magnetic field as given to confine the particle. So, it is particularly working on the electric field based setup with polarity change. So, then we have another type of accelerators which are called synchrotron. So, which are called circular accelerator, accelerator built in a circle in which the particle goes around, around and around. But you can see the figure a circular particle is started with a linear accelerator and we keep on rotating on the path then finally it is coming out at some point using some beam line then we collect the particle or incident that particle on a particular target that is the main purpose of any accelerator. So, we need a high energy particle we need a high energy particle with high acceleration this particle high energy particle should incident on a particular object or a target that particle should emit a many of particles. So, from that we could understand what is the properties of the many particle emitted even the big bang theory also try to uh, illustrate using this kind of simple idea. What is that? Simple if you give a enough energy to a simple and a small particle then you can understand many of the physics behind the universe. That is the main what is the basic idea of large hadron collider and all already you are familiar with that. So, we are, have two kind of accelerators one is a linear accelerator another one is synchrotron with a circular accelerator. So, just the basic introduction about that we will discuss more about synchrotron later on. Then accelerators why people are more interested in uh, accelerators. So, what is the purpose of accelerators only to get high energy particles not that accelerators solve two problems of for physicists. For a physicist point of view, this is one of the main thing which solving two problems of physics. One is that first, since all the particle behaves like waves, right? Physicists use acceleration to increase particles' momentum. This decreasing its wavelength, wavelength enough that the physicist can use it prop, sorry, prop inside the atoms. How do we it happen? We know that momentum p equal to h by lambda right. So, if you take lambda into the other side we will get lambda is equal to h by p. So, if you increase the particles momentum you will get the wavelength as decrease as possible with respect to the increase in particles momentum. So, that is the one idea it is uh, um, using in accelerators working principle ok in experiments. Then second one the energy of the speedy particle is used to create the massive particle that physicists want to study that the energy of speedy particle is used. So, we can utilize these energized particles already I said this energized particles can utilize and we can hit on a particular target from that target it will emit many other particles that is required like if you just incident a proton on any material target then you can give a plenty of reactions plenty of interactions can happen which result in to give a plenty of other small small particles right. So, these particles behavior and understanding those behavior can open up many of underlying physics physics sorry ok. So, that is the main idea of accelerators what is the uh, why accelerators are more explored in the uh, physics uh, world. Then how to obtain particle to accelerate? What are the particle also we can accelerate? Mainly the particles that used to accelerate are electron, proton, 
then anti particle okay so how do we obtain this particle okay heating a metal already we have discussed about thermionic emission right from the thermionic emission we can get particles ejected also we are familiar with some other technique also photo emission of uh, for the production of electrons also we have discussed then i think we have discussed one more technique uh, it's a field emission right field emission of, of electrons also we have discussed then so in such way we can produce these electrons and these electrons can be injected to a particular particular cyclotron or synchrotron okay then we have a proton so proton can be easily obtained wow we can by just ionize the hydrogen then we will obtain proton from that then anti particle so in order to get anti particle first we should have energetic particle it should hit a target right then pairs of particles and anti particles will be created as i said now so if you have energized particle it is on a target it will produce a particles anti particles will be created via virtual photons or gluons okay so how do we extract this particle the extraction of the particle can be done by magnetic field okay magnetic field is used to separate out the so accelerate the speed of the chargeable particles by how by creating a large electric field which attract or repel the particle so as we already seen the linear accelerator case right there is a positive polarity change according to that there is a change in the particle motion and we can part confine the particle throughout the linear accelerator so this field is then moved down the accelerator pushing the particle along the track that's how it works so there are uh, different way we can design the accelerators okay there are two ways we can uh, designing the uh, aspect of accelerators one is fixed target shoot a particle at a fixed target then we can have a colliding beams two beams of particles are made up of two cross each other so that two particles can what two uh, particles are colliding so it can separate it and it can get a energy from the another particle incident on that then it can accelerate right already we have studied about compton scattering and all so that is scattering experiment one particle incident on a part, like photon is incident on an electron so electron can recoil the electron and the photons can emit in the another way so particle can energize two way one is using a shoot a particle a fixed target that's how we do in linear accelerator then in colliding beams two beams of particles are made of how to cross each other that means though they collide each other then get energy from another one then it's get recoiled okay that's all then we'll go to cyclotron what is cyclotron we didn't discuss about cyclotron earlier on cyclotrons are basically an accelerator which can set up even in a hospital or in a university setup or a like a normal laboratory setup which does not require a large area to occupy okay that's the main idea of that it does not require a large area to occupy but the purpose is same like accelerate charged particle to very high speed so we have discussed about synchrotron but synchrotron requires a large area to set it up to under, uh, utilize its underlying purpose okay for cyclotrons we can utilize this device can accelerate charged particle to very high speeds this energy particles are used to bombard atomic nuclei then thereby we can produce reactions then these reaction to produce radio nuclide useful for medicine industry and research so if you have medicinal purpose and all like even for medical diagnostic and incinerating a particular on a particular radio nuclear for a nuclear medication and all in all those things the useful technique to accelerate a particle is cyclotron which can set it up on a laboratory space so a positive or negative ions are released near the center of a cyclotron and moves gradually outward in a semi circular path due to the effect of magnetic field so this we will discuss how this magnetic field is affecting and the, what is the principle behind that we will discuss and rapidly changing and a rapidly changing radio frequency field okay and ic field can be used, uh, used to increase the kinetic energy part particle with each circulation that's how it works okay so the cyclotron cyclotron's operation is based on the fact that the time per revolution is independent of the speed of the particle and the radius of their path 
okay it's all things we need to further we need to discuss and how the what is the typical range of particles uh, particle energy it will be 100 mega electron volt so in a d structure as you can see the structure here so which contains a d's it circulate in a in a circulating on the semicircular space and there is a high voltage connected with the rf signal then there is a beam line as the particle is given with a beam then either we can utilize a, because the particle is starting at the center then it keep on rotating on the semicircular path and finally it can emit a particle from the beam line so this particle can be utilized for hitting the target okay so the particles start start in center and travel across the gap between the d's where they accelerated by the voltage difference in between two halves then finally the particle is emitting that's how cyclotron basically works we'll get to know detail okay so the major components of a cyclotron is that having a magnet okay then ion source then rf power then a d structure as you can see the figure uh, there is an electromagnet on the uh, either side there is a d structure on the d structure on the central point there is a particle is starting the uh, rotation and it is and it start emitting keep on then we, in order to confine the particle in order to confine the particle we have a south pole and north pole so in the as you can see the electric field will be transferring from uh, the electric field is uh, actually traveling from d1 to d2 in a linear way as the particle enters to the d's the influence will be on by the magnetic field so the thing is that the magnetic field and the electric field is perpendicular then the force will be perpendicular to that as we have know that uh, it's affecting by lorentz law okay we need to discuss uh, the principle later on so the how the work it's working on a cyclotron accelerator charger particle using a high frequency alternating voltage which applied between two hollow d shaped sheet metal electrons known as d's inside the vacuum chamber the d's are placed face to face with a narrow gap between them and creating a cylindrical space within them particles to move and the particles are injected into a center space so d's are located between the poles of electromagnetic which applies a static magnetic field B perpendicular to the electrode plane. So the magnetic field causes the path of the particle to bend in a circle to the Lorentz force perpendicular to their direction of motion. So that's how it works. An alternative voltage of the several, several thousand voltage are applied between the D's and the voltage creates an oscillating electrode field in the gap between the D's that accelerate the particle. Okay. The frequency of the voltage is set to the uh, particle making a circuit during the uh, single cycle of voltage to achieve this condition the frequency must be set to the particles cyclotron frequency so how do we obtain the particle cyclotron frequency we'll get to know that so the then we have basically the cyclotron as we know, components are the is anti the particle of field, electron rf acceleration for medical imaging source, called a positron emission ion tomography injection, particle then ion is used in particle acceleration uh, particle transport. Accelerator, you already understood what is magnetic insert. field is doing that. Then the magnetic basic field property is of proper the electron is this is possessing a positive uh, acting or perpendicular to that. Electric, then electric RF acceleration is happening by uh, giving a high uh, voltage, but the voltage is oscillating. So plus one then point the ion source is there should be an ion source whether it is electron or proton or anti particle also there should be an ion source of electron then that ion then should is be producing, injected basically using a particle accelerator right? then here we need to discuss about extraction. particle accelerators then after that then after we'll be covering one that next, uh, then the cyclotron part then the particle should okay uh, emit. so these are the common uh, positron emitters carbon then that particle should be extracted that is for utilized for ion extraction that then further we have a beam transport okay then we have a beam line from that beam line we have to obtain that particle and utilize for the purpose we are aim for that it can be either for medical diagnosis or using a high energy particle to hit on a particular material and utilize for to understand the uh, interaction mechanism happening over over there okay that's how it works then how does what is the motion in a magnetic field is happening okay so if you have a field applied to the perpendicular to the electric field then the electric field is perpendicular to the magnetic field and the force will be perpendicular to that and that situation we can say that we can we have Lorentz formula f is equal to q v b sin 
theta okay q v cross b so here we can uh, point out our uh, point our hand in the direction of v uh, v is the velocity then the curl you use the fingers in the direction of b then the force will be in the direction of your thumb thumb okay force will be in the direction of thumb if the charge is negative the force direction opposite to your thumb okay that's how it works so the here what's happening electric field mag, uh, magnetic field it is perpendicular to each other then the force will be perpendicular to each other so that's how the main principle of this uh, cyclotron okay so if that's so then we have a, a q is equal to v cross b where q is our charge v is the velocity of the particle so in a uniform magnetic field so we can the particle will move in a helix with a radius such that uh, such that where mv square by r equal to qvb where r is equal to mv by qb okay b is the magnetic field okay so the condition holds for particles traveling in a circle okay so the angular frequency of the circular motion of non relativistic particle in a uniform magnetic field is omega is equal to v by r qvb by p then qb by m so in the independence of uh, cyclotron frequency on velocity leads to the possibility of an accelerator called cyclotron so the output energy of the particle is given by the expression e is equal to q square b square r square by 2m so if you are considering relativistic motion in a magnetic field so the relation also in a relativistic case if you replace mv by particle momentum then r is equal to p by qb if we employ a uh, high energy physics unit we find a simple rule of thumb relation for a particle with charge e where p is equal to g electron volt giga electron volt by c then b should be in tesla okay so how do we produce ion source as i already we have said if the requirement of ion source is there it can be either electron or it can be proton so in order to be particle to be charged it should be either ionized to purpose the purpose of ion source is to create either positive or negative ions to be accelerated so the ions are uh, generated uh, in a plasma discharge okay uh, the ion can be either external or internal in most ion source a gas of neutral atom or molecule is heated into a plasma state where ions and electrons are disassociated and moves independently as a free particle the heating mechanism can be of various kinds it can be thermal electrical or using laser light once the ion is created the so they can be extracted from the plasma and accelerated so in the ion injection so we have many uh, where we can inject the particle uh, is one of central region beam path as the ion exit the ion so the path it takes determined by the environment of the central region this includes the magnetic field uh, region will pull the ions from the plasma out of the ion source and into the first orbit as you shown in the figure the orbit through the puller determines the exact beam path as the beam starts to accelerate as you can see the figure okay then we have a ion extraction once the beam is accelerated to the desired energy it usually must be extracted from the cyclotron in order to bombard a target or a create a radio nuclear so there will be two major method for extracting beam from cyclotron and the choice depends upon the charge of the particles being accelerated it can be positive ions are extracted by electrostatic deflection of the beams from their normal orbits negative ions are usually extracted by stripping the electrons of the ions creating a positive ion with the magnetically deflected from the orbit out of the machine then we have a beam lane so on one negative ion so there can be two or more beam lanes from the different ports on the machine each beam lane may be further split into several charge station so beam lanes are the way you can collect the particle from the accelerator like cyclotron then we have to distribute to the purposes what we are aimed for it can be positive ion cyclotrons and only support one exit therefore one beam lane only will be available for positive ion for negative ion there can be two or more beams okay so the the use of a cyclotron is a, is a, one of the best source of high energy beams for a nuclear physics experiment in a controlled or a laboratory setup or in a hospital setup okay then we have a treatment of cancer can be also utilized the cyclotron particle so it is particle therapy to treat cancer using the beams of cyclotrons can be used to penetrate the body and kill the tumors by radiation damage 
then we have a synchrotron this is not a very much need not to be discussed for your syllabus purpose anyway what is a synchrotron is a circular ring of magnets already we have seen how the synchrotron is working the synchrotron is given uh, with a different magnet each the these are different magnet in order to defocus and focus the particle in a particular path so these are uh, as qf qd qd are, are representing actually defocusing and focusing magnet to trap the electron in a particular path circular path okay so at one more points at the ring inside a cavity in which there is an oscillating rf electric field also as we have seen there is a uh, electric rf electromagnetic field also supplied with along with that so this frequency uh, such that every time the particle pass they are accelerated in the direction of the field so in a synchrotron is a much larger setup of a cyclotron okay in a synchrotron each point you need to have a uh, defocus and focus your uh, uh, particles in that circular uh, path and at one point you can emit uh, bring the particle or collect the particle from using a beam line setup that's already we have discussed anyway there is no need of a uh, detailed discussion of synchrotron for your uh, syllabus purpose we have to discuss more on cyclotron or we already discussed then finally we just have to give a uh, idea of a global accelerator already we are all you are already known about lsc in geneva switzerland where the large hadron collider experiments are happening then we have a tavatron tavatron is one of the uh, kind of a uh, accelerators which is using um, batava illinois uh, in us then we have a, uh, again large linear uh, large electron lep then we are lep1 hera then pep there are different accelerators all over the world has been listed here so just to get an overview of that accelerators are basically to speed up the particle the purpose of speeding up the particles can be either the where you can decrease the momentum of the particle and uh, sorry decrease increase the momentum of the particle and you can get the decreased wavelength which can be utilized for the probing different atoms then the purpose is next purpose is that while energizing the particle that particle can be utilized for uh, hitting a particular target and where you can emit many uh, that purple interaction can occur uh, cause many of emission of many other particles this particle can be utilized for many other studies to understand the uh, many other properties of uh, world and universe that's the main idea of that and also cyclotron is one of the main tool to utilize for the uh, uh, treatment of therapy and all okay with this we are ending up this part of the section uh, lecture okay Thank you for listening. Next, we will be uh, discussing on nuclear reactor. With that, we will be ending up this module of uh, radiation physics course. Okay. Thank you for listening.